Hi, my name is Alain Dutre with my colleague Philippe Bitton. We produced a short video that takes a look at how Microsoft's BitLocker product can take advantage of the extra security provided by the Prativa range of products. Before we dive into the demonstration, let's remind ourselves of what BitLocker is and how it can be used with smart cards. BitLocker is Microsoft's solution for encrypting the disk drive of your computer. On the client side, you have Windows 7, Enterprise or Ultimate Editions, and on the server side, Windows 2008. So, using BitLocker with a smart card. A smart card can be used with BitLocker for encrypting a data drive, be it external or internal. The value added of the smart card is that the key used to encrypt your data drive is then encrypted with your smart card encryption certificate, which is associated with a private key stored securely on the smart card and protected by a PIN. This means, of course, that only the person in possession of the smart card and the associated PIN can decrypt the data drive, which is really a much better scenario than storing a user's credentials on the vulnerable PC. What happens if you lose your smart card or you block it? Well, a strong 48-bit recovery key is automatically generated during the setup of BitLocker, and this key can be stored on a USB flash memory device such as Gemalto's Smart Enterprise Guardian. The advantage of the SEG is that the recovery key can be stored in the private part of the flash memory, which is then encrypted and requires the typing of a correct PIN to unlock it. Okay, so let's go to our demonstration and we start by inserting the Smart Enterprise Guardian. Now we're going to request a certificate called Encrypting File System Certificate. Click on Next. And for the purposes of the demo, we're going to use a self-signed uh, certificate. Now the certificate has been generated. We insert uh, the PIN for the Microsoft Smart Card uh, provider. And now our certificate uh, is being uh, generated. Now we have the option of saying whether we want to use this certificate for encrypted files which are already on our system. We click no. And now we enter the PIN for the smart card which is going to store the encrypting file system certificate. We can have a look at this certificate and you'll see that um, one of the certificate's purposes is to allow data on a disk file to be encrypted. So we click on OK. And now we need to modify a parameter on the PC to enable BitLocker to work with a encrypting file system certificate which is stored on a smart card. So we need to use the local um, group policy editor to do this. And we modify a parameter called an OID, an object identifier which will enable our certificate, uh, which is stored on a smart card, to work with our BitLocker. <coughs> so this is done. We apply it. And now we're ready to roll. So the next step is to simply uh, turn on BitLocker, check the box which says use my smart card to unlock the drive, click on next, click the certificate we want to use. And now this is where the Smart Enterprise Guardian comes in because we're going to save the recovery key to a USB flash drive and we're going to store the recovery key in the private part of the, of the Smart Enterprise Guardian's uh, flash memory. So we click on save the recovery key to a USB drive, save. And now we're all done, and so we can start encrypting our data disk drive. So we click on uh, Start Encrypting, and the encryption process is underway. So 
now that disk drive is uh, encrypted, we can see the lock on the local uh, D drive. Now if we want to unlock this, uh, decrypt this drive, we will need to uh, insert uh, the smart card because on the smart card there's the private key which has been uh, which will be needed to uh, decrypt the uh, encryption key which has been used to encrypt our disk drive. So of course this uh, private key requires the uh, insertion of a pin. Click on OK. And now we're ready to unlock the disk drive. So you can download a step-by-step -step guide covering what we've done today from the commissioning section on the path to portal. That's basically it for our explanation demonstration of how Protifa cards and tokens can add client-side security to Microsoft's BitLocker. Be sure to have a look at the other videos and sales tools on this portal. Happy browsing and bye-bye for now.